Hey everybody, it's your Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to do a brief demo and review of this RCA to HDMI adapter. So what this is used for is it actually takes your old school RCA cable connections and converts it over to HDMI. So you can use your old school gaming consoles like N64, Dreamcast, and so on with modern day TVs because a lot of modern day TVs are discontinuing the usage of RCA cables. So in the case of N64, for example, which is what I'm going to be demoing this with today, you have your old school RCA cables here. You have your yellow, your white, and your red connections. And you plug that into the back of your TV, jump over to your input, make sure that you line it up with the correct input, and you'll be able to utilize your N64 game console. However, modern day TVs, a lot of them are discontinuing the usage of these RCA connections. My TV is one of those. So I actually have to use something like this in order to convert the RCA connection over to HDMI. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. We're gonna demo this with my N64 console, and then we're gonna jump out and I'll talk to you about what I like and what I don't like about this particular device. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start by showing you exactly how to use this RCA to HDMI adapter. I'm going to be using my N64 console here. This is a fully original N64 console. So first thing that we're gonna do is we need to put the power supply into this. You can see up here, we have our power supply USB port right here. So this actually connects to a cable like this. You just plug it in just like so. And the other end of this is a USB. So here you can see the other end, this plugs into either a computer, anything that's going to be able to power this. So I actually have an outlet that takes USB. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. This is going to give our adapter power. So now we're gonna take our RCA cables from our N64. Again, you can do this with any retro console that utilizes these. It doesn't have to be an N64. You can use Dreamcast, um, whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna match this up, yellow with yellow, white with white and red with red. Once that's done, you can see that the RCA side of this is fully completed. So now we just have to jump over to our output side, which is going to be a regular HDMI cable. And we just need to plug this in. So the other end to this is already going into my TV monitor here. And that is all we need to do. Just make sure that you have all of these firmly set into place. And now we can actually turn on our N64 console and see that this works. And you can see here that everything did boot up perfectly fine. Our connection has been made through our RCA to HDMI adapter. All right, so I'm just going to jump into a game. I'm actually using my EverDrive 64X5 with all of my different N64 ROMs on here. So I'm going to just jump into a game just to demo this connection, just so you can see how the connection is made and the quality of it. So we just walked through the entire setup process for this RCA to HDMI adapter. We used the N64 game console running Cruising World as our gameplay demo, just to show you exactly what the performance is like on a adapter like this. You can see that there were no delays, no issues at all via the connection. Everything was just super smooth. The resolution was perfect. There was no uh, issues whatsoever. So it's just top notch from start to finish using an adapter like this. So if you are in need of an RCA to HDMI adapter to bring your retro gaming console over to your modern day monitor or TV, then I highly recommend this particular adapter for you. It is just super high quality and super reliable. So there are just a ton of different positives associated with this. Now, if we're gonna outline some negatives, 
I really only have one negative, and while it's not certainly a uh, major issue, it is a little bit of an inconvenience, and that is, as I showed you in the setup portion of this video, that we do need to have a USB connection on here in order to actually power this. So we do have our RCA and HDMI cables plugged in, but we do need to have our power supply plugged in in order to give this power. The connection is via a USB port, so I actually use my USB port on my power outlet, which is perfectly fine. You can also use a laptop, regular computer, uh, power bank if you have one. There's just a multitude of different options in order to power this, but it does run an additional cable, so you have an added cable to your setup. So you end up with your RCA cables, your HDMI cable, and now your power supply cable, in addition to the power supply cable to the console itself. So. Like I said, it's a little inconvenient that you have to add another cable into the works here, but it is what it is. It does its part and it obviously gives us power and we need power in order to make this work. So with retro consoles like the N64, Dreamcast and so on, they do utilize these RCA connections. So in order to bring those over to the modern day TV or monitor, you definitely need something like this. And again, if you don't need it now, you're eventually gonna need it in the future when you upgrade. So definitely to consider purchasing this. If you're interested in purchasing this, jump over to the description. We'll put a direct link in there to jump you over to Amazon. They're super cheap, super affordable. So definitely don't hesitate to pick one of these up from Amazon. So that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different retro gaming videos, anything from product reviews like this one, to tutorials, to gameplay demos, just a little bit of everything on here. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.